Uh, it is my pleasure to be here in uh, Wales for Digital 2013 for a couple of reasons. One, I love this place. I haven't been here in about 30 years. Um, that was the only time in my life. And then two, the reception, you know, the enthusiasm for the idea of simplicity has just been amazing. Really, really fun for me to, to go out and speak about it. Our goal is to make people who love Apple. Apple's values, I think, are really born um, in the garage where Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak created the company. And, they, and so I think Jobs always had in his head this, this small company mentality. And, and over the years, I used to see him whenever he would erupt sometimes, as he did. A lot of times it was because someone was acting like they worked in a big company. And he, he didn't want people acting that way. He didn't think that great innovation happened in a big organization like that. So he wanted to keep the the flavor of a small company. So um, I think that any company today can look at itself. Uh, you know, I, I mean, it, every company was a small company, a startup or something, and there's a, an energy and a vitality that, that you know, shouldn't be forgotten. It shouldn't be replaced by processes. You know, processes exist to duplicate success, but they're oftentimes, you know, they start becoming more important than the stuff that's going through the process. And I think that's what Steve never allowed. So I think uh, a company can um, can be true to its own startup values. I would recommend that. But then it's like, to me, simplicity isn't this result. It's, it's sort of like this guideline. It's a lens through which you look at everything you do. It's what are you telling your customers? Is it are you offering too many things? Are you trying to please everybody all the time, and therefore you stand for nothing yourself? And um, you know the example I use is Apple sells six models of laptops, and HP and Dell are selling over forty. Um, is you know, and Apple's making more money than those guys, and nobody ever stops and thinks like, hmm, maybe we don't need to make that many, because <laughs> um, there's a point at which you're fulfilling people's desire to have choice, and then there's a point where you're just confusing them and. I think the bottom line is that any human being, um, given the choice of achieving a similar result, and there's a hard way and an easy way, will take the easy way. It's just a no-brainer. And I think um, every company would benefit by looking at, at how it's speaking to its customers and what kinds of products and services it's offering. Um, and if there's a way to whittle them down and still give people choice, but and then you know the, the products and services themselves being you know attractive you know, because they lure you in with their simplicity. Uh, I think there's an awful lot of that that can be done in the world for businesses of any size.